Hello everyone and welcome. This is a bit of a big day, isn't it? I'm in the UK and this is a Tesla Model Y. First one in the UK. Okay, it has been driven over from Germany because of a very nice chap called Oliver and he's also done a couple of little modifications to this. But let's take the opportunity to show you around this car and give you a little bit of a prod and poke in person. I know we've seen some of these in America for a while, but we're just excited. It's in the UK. I'm standing next to it and I get a chance to look around it. Okay, so before we get into this, once again, a big thank you to Oliver for coming all the way over here. We're at the fully charged live show in Farnborough today, tomorrow and Sunday. So Oliver and his website here, customers custom-tesla.com uh, has also done a couple of really cool modifications to this car which I'll show you but firstly let's just have a walk around and show it in person and I'm holding a GoPro because that captures some of the close-up bits as well feels a bit more like in person um, so it's a dual motor long range five seater and they've only just started deliveries this chap took delivery on Wednesday in Germany has done a few bits to the car and then driven it straight over for this show so again big congratulations and thanks Oliver right okay so deep blue metallic as we know it it in the flesh, I tell you what, obviously it does look familiar to a Model 3, but it's just good to see it in the flesh and get an idea of the scale of it. And if you want to see it, you're going to have to come to the show here. But let's go around the car. Right, so obviously familiar lights at the front here, Marker Model 3. Um, you've got a front, which I'll open in a minute. I'll go around the outside first. Um, so this car here has got the, uh, what have we got, 19 inch wheels. So they're 255, 45, 19s on the front here with Hankook Ventus tyres. And this has got the trims around the side here, like the Model X. So just protect it from some of those little scuffs in car parks and some mud flaps on there um, it looks great and you can see the size of it here so I'm six foot tall and it sits well below me here so a good size this in Europe this is gonna be so so popular it's kind of crossover SUV style so popular over here our roads are quite small and narrow so this is where the Model X sometimes is just too big a car this everyone's waiting for this everyone is waiting for this it's, it's big news and big news to see it um, right coming around this has obviously got the latest d chrome it's a made in china car um, so the black door handles black trims around here standard tints on the back here um, so it comes with them like the model x did model 3 doesn't we do a lot of window tints for model 3s but this is standard i believe um, again just get an idea of height this is where it really gets bigger than a three as it comes up here uh, just check the back tire size are they the same size 255 45 19s yeah so they're the same as the front um, and you can see here the links to this uh, chap's website so this car's had some soundproofing but again i'll come on to that in a minute i just want to show you around the car first dual motor badge so this bit certainly looks model three but you can see a big difference here where this lower splitter comes down here parking sensors are up here and the splitter comes down and I presume it's this panel that comes out for the tow bar um, right let's come right around this side so you get a full walk around of the car see it at different angles yeah it's nice it's nice what sort of ground clearance have we got here yeah not massive but as you expect it's just smooth underneath let's just show you with that just get right under there very much like a model 3 there you go hands and knees decrum on the wing mirrors and front fenders there yeah very nice what do you think let us know in the comments below if you've got a tesla model s a model x or a model 3 and you are waiting for the model y to arrive in the uk and will you change now i bet a lot of people will okay let's have a look inside uh, let's go to the passenger side here which would normally be the driver's side obviously i'd get in here normally as a steering wheel but as this is from germany it's a left-hand drive car black interior so you definitely got this higher console here and it's kind of like a model 3 but obviously the seats are just raised up here now we have seen videos of this it's also starting to come into europe they've been in the states for a while but we're just excited to see it here so why not film this this is all very familiar to any model 3 owner as is this steam wheel there that's the same by the look of it as well and then we've got this one piece glass roof here so it's not interrupted uh, in the midsection like a model 3 all the way across right to behind the back seats there yeah it looks great doesn't it i'll tell you what i'm going to do here whilst i'm at the front actually let's open the front and hit and open there we go now look at this that is a power front now this is part of the customization this chap has done since he got the car on wednesday this one's got a power front which i think is one of the most useful accessories you can get um brilliant yeah brilliant we're sure we've done a few uh, front conversions and trunk conversions for model threes in the uk so as soon as the model y hits the uk i'm sure we'll soon be getting into this as well but if you're in europe check out this chap's website in germany um we've got type 2 we've seen here actually the, the model 3s i picked up recently the, the type 2 comes with this strap now so you can hang it on the wall which is a nice little detail slightly bigger front nice and deep 
And then to close this, you can do it from an app, you can do it from the emergency release button there. And closing the front with power is the best addition, it really is. There you go, and that latches down. And it saves you having to put your hands all over the bonnet and get dirty, especially in the winter. Just brilliant. Right, I'm going to come around here, show you the boot, and then I'm going to get in and show you the space inside. Kind of slow to open to begin with, then opens up. No parcel shelf, but the windows are tinted, so you don't really need it. Big underfloor storage area, another area there, so there really is tons of space. And then this creates a nice flat low lip, a nice height, so this is kind of thigh height here. Easy load stuff in and out. Big deep pockets down here, big deep pockets. They're lovely. Oh, this is gonna be so popular in the UK. Buns here to fold the seats, brilliant. Nice and simple, and then as you fold the other side, you can also fold the middle seat down independently as well. Oh uh, yeah, this is what everyone's waiting for. This will just be incredibly popular. Right, what I want to do, Oliver's kindly let me uh, poke around and get in the car. So I'm going to get in it and put the driver's seat to my position. So instantly, I mean, it feels very familiar to Model 3, but just a bit more raised up, which is what you'd expect really, isn't it? So the seat can go, that's, in, that's the seat and it's, oh, no, it's still going down. So that's the seat all the way down. I'm six foot, ample headroom. In fact, I would probably come up a little bit. If I come up a little bit, I'm just starting to see the wings, but compared to Model 3, you can't actually see the kind of wings and bonnet as easily, I would say. Um, so it's not quite the same like that for visibility, but the windows are big. It's nice. I like this a lot. Okay, I'm getting my seat into my position. Yeah, this is all very much Model 3 familiar. Bigger door pockets there. Ball down there, that's good. Okay, so if I was driving the car, it would look, I'd be in this position. So, six foot, what does that look like in the back? Oh, wow, well, this would be easy. This would be easy. Yeah. I'll tell you, I think actually in the back here, let me just check for headroom. Yeah, this is behind me, so this is good. In fact, the seat, this feels quite reclined. Have I actually got adjustment on the seat here? This one seems more upright next to me. So I think this is a slightly reclined seat position, but just tons of space. One of the biggest differences here, though, is just the space between the seat and the floor. It really helps. Model S and the Model 3, you've got your knees up a little bit here, but this extra height here just makes all the difference. So this vertical height of the car really is giving you much more comfortable seating here. And I'll tell you what, you'd actually get three people across here quite comfortably. I think you'd agree again, so you get three people in here easily. Um, this plastic here is a little bit hard, and you've got that kind of hard plastic there. Pockets, a couple of USB-Cs, but you've got the Alcantara trim here. Again, I can see us doing the Alcantara dashboards and the door trims. We do a lot of them for the Model 3 so that it matches these door trims. That's probably one of the first jobs I would do here in this car. Oh, that's a nice little touch there, nice little light and bag very nice indeed yeah this is great honestly this in the uk this is just going to be the biggest seller wide armrest fixed cup holder so again it's that kind of elbows in the armrest thing wait till matt watson gets his hands on these he'll be like ah, that's not good but uh, actually because they're wide you've got a bit of room next to it yeah you could spend long journeys in here really easily charred seats would fit easily no problems with that at all very good indeed yeah this is going to be ever so popular, isn't it? All right, okay, so I mentioned a couple of mods. We've seen that power frunk. I want to show you what else this chap's done. So he got his car new on Wednesday, and then he basically stripped it down because one of the things he does is uh, soundproofing. So he adds extra insulation to help with soundproofing in the vehicle, and you can tell that straight away. Solid. Solid. I mean, literally, you can feel and hear the difference. So I have to say, that's a great addition to have. Makes about three decibels of difference apparently, and, um, but just when you go over bumps, so much more noticeable, uh, much quieter. So I'd love to take this car out for a drive at one point. Maybe I'll have to take a trip to Germany. Sounds like a reasonable plan, doesn't it? Take a couple of other cars, Onyx 5. So yeah, power front, soundproofing. I think I would add the uh, dash trim to be Alcantara as well, but great car great car you can see this is going to be so popular in the uk um, all over europe as well it just suits our size of roads big enough to get the family and everything in practical um, but still not too big it is a bit wider than a model 3 and it is a bit longer than a model 3 um, 
but you wouldn't really know it doesn't really actually look it as it sits here other than it's just a bit taller so yeah no that's brilliant thank you to oliver who's uh, over the back there somewhere uh, for bringing this car all the way over to the uk really good to see a model y here and um fully charged live if you can make it this weekend then it's great if you've been here this weekend if you're watching this video afterwards i'm sure you probably are um, then hopefully we've seen you here you've said hello and you've come and seen this for yourself so well done tessa just get that berlin factory open. apparently we're waiting for the berlin gigafactory to open to get our right hand drive cars for the uk so we might not get ours for a while yet so Anyway, we just had to be patient and wait, weren't we? That's it. Thanks for now. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed for some more videos.